2012 Camaro SS. Whistling mirror. You can uh, put your hand, of course I'm turning the corner, but you can put your hand right in that area and it stops. From what I've read, I think that the air gap around here in between the mirror seams is what's causing it. So, I'm gonna get a piece of painter's tape and put it over the crack and see exactly what's causing that noise. It doesn't do it on that uh, mirror, and it doesn't do it on all Camaros either. One of those Chevy things. You can clearly hear it, even with the window up. So that's the goal of this video is to get rid of that stupid whistle because it's driving me nuts. So here I am again. I got my trusty uh, painter's tape piece ready to go. I put a little piece on what try sections first. And uh, so I put a little bit of piece of tape right there. That doesn't silence it. I'm gonna try that little stretch right there and I'll just go around the whole goddamn mirror if I, if I have to. So let's see what happens here. Nothing. Wow. Of course, there is always a slow car in front of me. It's on a fun day. I cannot believe that little piece of stupid tape in that one little spot has completely gotten rid of my whistling. That's ridiculous. It makes no sense whatsoever. Well, I mean, I guess it makes a little sense because it works. So I got my fix will be coming up soon. In fact, I'm going to do this two ways. Now. This would always hit once it got to 35 more here, so. I'm going 60, there's not a peak. Now, let's try this. There it is. That is the problem. Right here to right here. Okay, so I got a little fix coming up. <laughs> Stay tuned. That's correct, Black RTV. I got this particular stuff from uh, Harbor Freight. $3.50. I'm a transmission builder. I've used dozens and dozens of these tubes. Never had a single leak. No reason to pay $7 or more for that crap everywhere else. This stuff works perfect. So, I'm not particularly sure if I enjoy smearing RTV all over my damn mirror. However, I am definitely at a point where if I don't get rid of this goddamn noise, I'm going to get rid of this goddamn car. So, shit, here goes. God, this is stupid. Yes, I'm going to wipe the excess away. I'm just trying to get it inside the crack. Jesus. Oh my god. I don't know if I've ever done anything dumber on such a nice car. But. <laughs> I get this in here. And then if I wipe this all away, in theory, I should never see it. Sorry. All right. So there. See that? I don't even think that's painted. I mean, not the same paint color as this 45th. It's just a solid black mirror. So there it is. All right, so much fail. the 
excess. Let's see what we're left with. so certain if it did what I wanted it to do. I might have to put more on there, let it dry, and then come back at a later date and rub it off. I don't think it quite did what I wanted it to do. So I'm not overly enthusiastic about the way that that turned out. It's not exactly what I had in mind. So I'm going to be searching for a better fix. I don't even know if this is going to work. Let's see that. I think what I'm gonna do is when it goes back in there and after it dries, then I'm gonna come back in there and fill it in just a little bit more and let it dry again. And then after it dries for good, I'll come back with a, with a razor knife and you have to be very careful because you don't wanna scratch the plastic. Um, and um, I'll very gently trim around the cracks so that all that's left is in the middle in the crack. And uh, at that point, you won't really be able to notice the RTV. Uh, it'll just fill that line. So, there you have it. No more whistle at all. Hallelujah. I have not seen another fix on this on the internet. So you saw it here first. If anybody comes up with a better idea on how to fill that mirror in, and have it look more inconspicuous, please post back in the comments. I'd love to hear your ideas and your opinions. Thanks for tuning in again, guys.